how much do we now spend on paying the interest on in our national debt? A lot, a lot. How much? Well, I'll give you the figure and I'll send you a note on the figure. The uh, well, how, you don't know? Well, I know the figure, but I haven't got it in how front much? of me. I'll send it. You tell me now. Well, at the moment it's 46, 46. billion. It was 56 and it's gone down. Uh, no, it's going up. Well, no, it's gone down previously, but now it's going No, again. I assure you it's going up no, it's, and, it, and it will go over 50 well, billion. Well, billion. Well, if you didn't know the figure, then you don't know whether it's gone up or down. I can remember the, I can remember the trend. And, and, the, and you would add to that? No. The issue is, and it's exactly as Savage Javed said in a cabinet minister only a few weeks ago, when you've got a desperate need, for example, for housing, when interest rates are so low, that's the time when you borrow. And when you borrow to invest in that way, you get the return because it will be matched in terms of the multiplier effect. Well, but we already spend more just on interest. We, the British taxpayers, spend more just on servicing the interest yeah. payments than we do on defence and on transport. And you would add to that with your policies. It would be a lot more than 50 billion. What's happened is, is that the current chancellor has increased the debt by about 800 billion. And he's done that as a result of failure to invest in the early stages of 2010 onwards. And if we'd have done that, we'd have grown the economy and we would have been able to afford the public services that we've got. And we would have, wouldn't have had the productivity crisis that we've got now.